I'm here with the It's Happening Here campaign. We're promoting um, wonderful, exciting positions in Irish software companies. Senior software developers, software architects, project managers in software, and all the other jobs that go around software. Indigenous software companies find it particularly difficult to compete. Um, a lot of that is because they don't have branding and people don't know about them. So it's a sort of a hidden industry, if you like, in Ireland. And what the It's Happening Here campaign is about is branding this and promoting it so that everybody knows about it and will attract the talent to it. Well, there's an estimate between five and 20,000 tech jobs in Ireland at the moment, so it's an astonishing number. Um, and the difficulty is we're competing against the rest of the world because there's a shortage of these people, people globally. So what we're trying to do is trying to help sort of get the message out there that Ireland is a fantastic place uh, to come to if you're in the tech sector. You can really build a great career here in Ireland. The hot skill at the moment is Python, um, so we could place a lot of people who've got that, that skill. Um, and then there's your .NET uh, developers, uh, Java uh, developers. Those are the guys with the skills that are really in demand and who can command quite, quite good rates at the moment. And there are a range of conversion courses that you can do. There's people like Skillnet um, who will take people from a different background, put you through a course and give you some basic IT qualification. And I think the take-up rate for, for people who do that course is something like 70 or 80 percent. So if you've got a, at least if you've got the right sort of background, so it might be engineering or architecture, something like that, so you've got the, the logical mind and the, 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 you're trained in that way of thinking, you can convert and you can pick up some IT skills and there will be a job at the end of it. Yeah, we're seeking people right across all of our businesses, uh, primarily in our development center, uh, also in our operations center and in sales and marketing. We'll hire about 100 new people over the next 12 months. Particular skills we're looking for primarily in the development center, it's really around people's problem solving and coding skills, really strong problem solving. We're a little bit language agnostic, to be honest with you, uh, but part of what we're looking for is people aptitude. One particular area we're seeing a lot of people getting interested now is the concept of development and test. So we'll hire developers, as we always will, and we continue to hire a lot of developers. We're also finding a lot of developers are moving into the test function and doing development in the test function. So really the idea being that you'll look at code, you'll challenge code, you'll break code rather than create it, which takes a different type of mindset. Uh, but also it's a very interesting space and in terms of the quality bar we set for our products is going to be really critical for us going forward. It's a competitive space. I, I wouldn't say it's a challenge. It's a competitive space. I think for Microsoft, um, the type of work environment we give, the opportunity to give people to work on fantastic technology, you know, the innovation coming with things like Windows 8, it's probably less of a challenge for us. Uh, and I think if you look around here today, if you look at the quality of the companies that are here, Ireland has fantastic companies which makes it competitive. For us, we've got a big advantage. We've been recognized for the last four years as the best place to work in Ireland. And that's a tremendous honor when you look at the companies here today. So for us, it's competitive rather than challenging. Accenture this year, we're looking to recruit about 86 graduates, as well as we're also looking for candidates in analytics and technology from an experienced hire perspective. We're looking for system and Java developers, for instance. We're also looking for folks in data analytics, management scientists, and so forth. Think about the way that you present your CV and think about the way that you present yourself in interviews to tell your story appropriately in terms of both your technology skills, which are extremely important, but so are your communication skills, your teaming skills, and so forth, which are other areas that we do evaluate our, our candidates on before bringing them into Accenture.